confined behind locked door, contained four cement walls, four closed windows, well lit environment, yet dark, cold, lonely. In the darkness of this smothering solitary shackle, do I stagger, stumble, think, or do I walk purposefully in the light, reflecting, imagining, exploring, creating? The choice is mine, and I, Wanda Dobson, have chosen to step out of the darkness into the light of an array of creative arts and craft activity at home and virtual programming throughout this pandemic season. Yes, season, for this too shall pass. I'm always excited about combining workshop experiences into a single piece of art. And the project I'm working on in my in-between things time combines three workshops. The one-page booklet, uh, decoupaging papers, and moving pen writing. On February 8th, in part, I wrote, Oh, my dearly beloved one, it's hard to believe that as Valentine's Day approaches, it will be another first time since you passed away moment. And what shall I do on this special designated day of love? Perhaps I'll look at a photo where our cheeks touch so tightly that air can barely come between us. Wanda, wait! What are you doing? Don't toss that tuna can. You can wash it out, slap some glue and decorative paper on it. And wow, look, a beautiful paper clip holder. Now you go, girl. Keep creating. Sorry, y'all, I'm home alone and sometimes I have to do a little self-talk. Hear the strong voices of those inspiring women poets whose work I recently explored. Susan, Gwendolyn, Nikki, and Sonia, Jane, June, and Audrey, Judy, Maya. And remember, this is not a small voice. Rise and continue to soar above this pandemic. More to come as we continue to push through this pandemic. <laughs>